Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Just Hanging. Right now we're joined by Rangers shortstop Elvis Andrews. Uh, Elvis, I know, you know you've been with the Rangers for a long time. Uh, John Blake told me that you've been waiting to do this your whole career, so how excited are you to be sitting on this bench right now? Uh, it's been amazing, man. It's been, it's been a good uh, journey and uh, you know, happy to be here, blessed to be here. So, you know, we'll see how it goes this year. All right, uh, start with some favorites, favorite food. Uh, I have a lot, but I mean, my, my number one always gonna be arepas, which is a Venezuelan dish. Uh, love it. It looks like a dot, like a like a pancake, pretty much. Uh, but I love it. I can't eat it every day. Can you? Are there are there good places in the Metroplex where you can get them? Yeah, there's a few places, a few restaurants. Uh, but I mean, in my house, they're the best. My wife and my mom, the they best make them. Best arepas. In can the you place. make them? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, favorite movie or, or favorite movie you've seen recently? Uh. I mean, I like kind of the Black Panther. Okay. So uh, I think it was last year. I yeah. think it was really good. Uh, and but my all time is uh, in pursuit of happiness yeah. by Will Smith. Yeah. I love that movie. I can I can watch it every single day. All right. Uh, favorite actor or actress? Uh, Will Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith. Yeah. Favorite TV show? I mean, I gotta go with The Simpsons. Okay. I love The Simpsons. I mean, I watch every episode and every time it's you know. They predict the future, so it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Had you seen The Simpsons before you came to America? Oh yeah, all okay. the time. All right. And so growing up, that was oh, yeah. okay. What's your favorite? You have you have two kids. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite like kids TV show now? I mean, actually, there's a few ones that I'm actually <laughs> watching. It's kind of it's kind of crazy because uh, even when I'm in a road. Uh, you know, I wake up and I, you know, I go through channels and sometimes, you know, Disney Channel and like for some reason, I just stop <laughs> watching it. And then I look around and I was like, okay, my kids are not here. What am I watching this? But I think one of my favorite, my, my kids have two favorite shows, which is uh, Paw Patrol and uh, like Disney, you know, like Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. House right. in, although I like it, I can watch it actually myself. All right. Uh, favorite cereal? I'm not a big uh, cereal guy, but uh, Fruit, Fruit of Loops. Fruit of Loops? Fruit of Loops, that was, on my, that was my top one. Favorite board game? Uh, chess. Chess? Yeah. I'm not that good, but it's you like once playing? in a while, yeah. My, my older brother, Erickson, is really good at it, so we play sometimes. Okay. What about your other brother? Errol? Oh, no, no, I don't no, like he's not, not really. Uh, he's a video game guy. He <laughs> likes video game more. Are you, do you, are you big on the sticks? I used to. Yeah, what do you play? Uh, I don't like to play nothing like killing. I just, I'm more like a sport sports guy. Game, so I play right. any sport like soccer, you know, football, baseball, anything in a sport. And you're a big Juventus fan? Yes. All right, so I assume you play with them in FIFA? Oh, yeah, for okay. sure. All right. Uh, was there a sport growing up you never got to play that you would have liked to have tried at some point? Uh... I don't think, I think I play everything. You play everything? Yeah, everything. Yeah, pretty much I did every sport. Play hockey? Well, we don't have ice hockey, there. Yeah. <laughs> but we did, we did play hockey. It wasn't an ice, but On like. The street? Yeah, with the, with the roller. Like, yeah. Yeah. Can you rollerblade? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, what's your proudest non athletic accomplishment? Uh, I mean, I think one of the things that I wanted to be if I wasn't, uh, you know, a baseball player was. It was two things, either be a mus uh, musician, which I love music, and an engineer, like electric engineer, uh, or around, you know, technology, like on a computer, software, something. Uh, that's one of my passions. So I think that that's something that, I, I mean, I still got time to, to accomplish that. <laughs> uh, and I'm trying to find a ways to do it, but I think those are two things that I would love to, you know, become if I wasn't playing baseball. Okay, how did you, like the engineering thing, at, at what age were you like, I really like, this sort of this yeah. Sort well, of thing. my my uncle, one of my closest uncle, uh, Edgar, he's a he's an electric engineer, okay. uh, and I mean, watching him, you know, growing up, you know, when we're going to, he lived in Caracas, I live in Maracay, which is like an hour away from the capital, and uh, going to Caracas, I get to you know, you know, see him working and you know, go to the company, uh, to the electric company. It was amazing, man. Like, I mean, how smart he is. I think that you know, sometimes you take you know, for granted how cool it is to actually have a degree, uh, like a son, something that good. Uh, and I mean, he helped so many people, you know, in our country throughout the last 30 years. And I think that was something that I was really, you know, amazed me at that moment. And, you know, I always wanted to, you know, do that, help, you know, trying to 
do something to help people. And so one day maybe get a degree? Is that like something you That's a, Yeah, it is. I mean, I talked to my wife and she's like, no, you're not. And I've, I've been talking. I mean, I think, you know, the hardest thing is to, you know, to actually get my, Wait, my, yeah. get my hands and my feet wet. But uh, I'm trying to do something like for sure. I know in the future, in the near future, I'm going to try to uh, get some, any degree uh, that I can, uh, you know, accomplish in the off season. And on the musical side, as a singer or playing an instrument or both? Oh, my dream is to be a singer. Yeah, I, I, I hear you saying I mean, sing until a lot. my yeah. day is my dream. Uh, but uh, you know, I think when I was growing up, and I changed my voice because I think before I used to have a really like a better voice, like a kid. And then when I started growing up and, and my tears, yeah, yeah, I got too deep, man, and that kind of hurt me. But uh, I mean, I think anything like it. I mean, if I was a musician, it was I mean, a singer would be perfect, yeah. but. Playing an instrument, I love it. So Can I'm, you play? I'm, well, yeah, what I'm, I'm play, I'm, I'm play a, a couple. Uh, they're pretty much like for salsa. Like I know how to play maracas and the like the, the drums and all that. Uh, but I just I, I haven't taken it seriously. Yeah. You know, I do it for fun and like I have rhythm and everything. Uh, but I never took it like you know like too serious. But I love music. I think I have you know I got a good ear and it's easy for me to you know stay on the on the rhythm of the song. I have no rhythm. That's my biggest problem. <laughs> uh, who do you think had, like, of all the musicians, I'm not going to ask you, like, favorite band and that stuff, but, like, is there a musician whose voice you just think is, like, absolutely beautiful? I mean, there's a lot of There's a lot of But, I mean, if, we, if we're talking about male musicians, yeah. there's two guys that, that always got me rid of. I was like, wow, that's really awesome, which is uh, John Legend. Right. That's, the, that's the one I figured John you John Legend, say. he has such a unique voice because he's, like, a classic and yeah. new uh, I mean, there's a guy that I like, Bruno Mars Boys. Mm -hmm. I've been to like, I think that's the most concert I've ever been, been to. <laughs> yeah, I've been to like three concerts already the past three years. And like, the, the I mean, besides, he can play every, any instrument, dance really bad, you know, really good. Uh, They're great, like, entertainer. Yeah, yeah. well, his voice is yeah. off the charts. So yeah. I think those two guys really impressed me. Okay, if you could start a food truck, uh, what would the cuisine be? Uh, I would like to be a mix, for sure. I mean, I, love, I would like to have the Venezuelan mm -hmm. dishes in here, uh, which, you know, a lot of people like it. And it's similar to, you know, like all Latin America, like Dominican and mm -hmm. rice and the beans and the chicken. Uh, uh, so I would like to do that. But I think, you know, if I do something like that, because my wife wanted to do My wife's a chef, so she wants to, That's one of her dreams. To, Let's go uh, open a food truck. Open it like all a food right. truck and then... If everything goes well, then we spend. You know, we get something <laughs> bigger. You gotta, you know, you gotta start, start small. small. Yeah. But uh, it'd be, it be around, you know, Venezuela, like all Latin America, like Mexican, you know, some uh, mango from Dominica. So I would like to have, the, the, you know, the big friends of dishes. Show off your your cult, your culture. Yeah. Uh, okay. So if you could be friends with one animal, which animal would you be friends with, and why? Uh, yeah, for sure the lion, man. It's the most, for me, the most impressive. King of the jungle. Impressive, yeah, like, you know, jungle. Uh, you know, it's, it's good looking too, you know. <laughs> kind of like my, like my hair right now, you know, all puffy. <laughs> but it's just, it's cool, man. I mean, he's like, he's a king of the jungle for a reason. So it'd be nice to, you know, hanging out with him all the time. All right, so your hair, my hair, totally different. Your hair always looks good, mine not. You got a beard. <laughs> my beard is always a mess. What <laughs> advice do you have for me about my beard? There's a lot of products out there that you can uh, put in and, you know, help growing. And then you, you'll grow a lot faster than if you use, you know, Just shave. like shave everyone, okay. But if you want, like, the, big, the best advice that my, my family, my, you know, my uncles, my dad, used to give me, if you want more hair, you shave it. So as soon as you got something, shave you it. shave it off and yeah, it more than you shave, it's going to grow even more. Because if I want to keep my beard during the season, and John Blake's gonna let me keep the beard. I need it to like. I gotta. It has to be on point. Gotta, yeah, I gotta look if good. You yeah, if you don't wanna, you know, if you don't wanna trim it and, and, and make it look good, don't. He's don't, not gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna let this fly. He's gonna look like Dog Dynasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me an impression or an impersonation of any of your teammates. Uh, that's kind of. It's kind of tough. Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean. The easy one would be Adrian. Uh, All right, but, you can do that. But I don't know. I mean, I like Chu. I mean, Ruge is always mad. So if I can do Ruge, I'd be just like, oh, the whole day. <laughs> He's that's always a, that's, a, that's an easy one. Just a look. All right, uh, either or. Chicken nuggets or chicken fingers? Chicken fingers. Go-karts or bungee jumping? Uh, bungee jumping. 
All right, this could be a tough one. Singing or dancing? Dancing, because I'm a bad singer. <laughs> <laughs> Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. Chocolate or vanilla? Uh, vanilla. That's a good answer. Barbecue or ranch? Yeah. Barbecue. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. All right, you can fight one Godzilla-sized Odor or 100 Odor-sized Godzillas. 100 uh, Odor-sized Odor Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, NHL 2019 or FIFA? FIFA. NBA 2K or FIFA? FIFA. Is there any game you would pick over FIFA? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Uh, all right, uh, MJ or LeBron? MJ. Pecan or pecan? What do you say? Pecan. Caramel or caramel? Caramel. Root or route? Route. Tread it's a lot easier to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Treadmill or elliptical? Elliptical. Sauna or hot tub? Uh, hot tub. Old Kanye or new Kanye? Old Kanye. Good answer. Yeah. All right, last thing, Elvis. <laughs> Teammate identification. All right, so anyone in that clubhouse, nicest? Uh, probably Willie. Willie Calhoun? Willie, he's pretty, yeah, he's pretty mellow, chill guy. Yeah, funniest. Joey. Best athlete. Mm, that's a good one. Uh, it's tough because you guys are all incredible athletes. I know. You wouldn't be here. But I mean, uh, I mean, all around, I think Joy. I mean, he got speed, throws, uh, power. So yeah. I think Joy is a good athlete. Okay. Person most likely to star in like a successful reality TV show? Chu. Chu? Yeah, all right. He'd be like the, the Dos Equis guy. He's <laughs> an interesting people. He's an interesting guy. Bro. He is. Uh, person most likely to just give a great speech to fire everyone up? Uh, Hunter Pence. That's what everyone has said. Hunter Pence. Yeah. Hands out. Uh, person most likely to invent something that'll change the world? Probably Hunter, too. Hunter Pence? Yeah. All right. For Elvis. sure. Elvis, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.